At the time of taping, the executive chef at the Palace Cafe in downtown New Orleans was Robert Bruce. He joined the restaurant in 1995 after having worked under Paul Prudhomme and Emeril Lagasse at Commander's Palace. In 1997, the Palace Cafe won an Ivy Award. Here is the appetizer, sweet potato crab meat Napoleon. What we're going to do here is uh, we're going to do the sweet potato and crab meat Napoleon with choupic creme fraiche. Okay? We have our fancy little mandolin here, which says watch your fingers because it is very sharp. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the blade so that it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick. The thinner it is, the better off. And we're going to carefully, watching our fingers, slide the sweet potatoes down. Check for the thickness. That's way too thick. So you got to check it. Make sure you're doing it right because you don't want to. You don't want to do it all and then realize you messed it up and have to start over again. Okay. So I think this might be good right there. See, nice and thin. Slice about six or so carefully. All right, and then on our sheet pan, we're going to lay them out. Uh, our oven has been preheated to 300 degrees, and we're going to take some clarified butter here, also known as ghee, uh, and we're going to brush the uh, sweet potatoes. Okay, season them, salt and white pepper. All right, then we're going to turn them over. Bake for about 45 minutes. Now the ravigo sauce. And we're going to add egg yolks. Put one egg yolk in there. So there you go. We're going to whisk it a bit. Add to that a pinch of salt, pinch of white pepper, some Dijon mustard from the Dijon region of France. And we're going to whisk that momentarily. Now we're going to drizzle our egg yolk, our uh, olive oil in. We're going to drizzle our olive oil into the egg yolks slowly at first because it will break. And if it breaks, you need to start all over again. Uh, this is extra virgin olive oil that I'm using right here, infused with a little bit of garlic. Uh, you can use whatever kind of oil you want. It really doesn't matter. You can use vegetable oil. As it starts to thicken, you want to thin it out a tad with some lemon juice which is going to thin it out. You just want to add a little bit of lemon juice at first so you get a nice little emulsion there. Okay, We can tighten it up a little bit more with the olive oil. So you want to add a little olive oil until it gets tight. Pour it on the side. Incorporate it in. As it starts to thicken up, you want to thin it out with a little bit of lemon juice. So you alternate the lemon juice and the olive oil. To that emulsion, we're going to add some tarragon. Okay. Season it with salt and pepper again. To this mixture right here, we're going to add our jumbo lump crab meat. This is from the, uh, the back fin of the Louisiana blue crab. It's an Epicurean's delight. My favorite crab meat in the world. Absolutely. We're going to toss that in with our vinaigrette, our emulsion. Take our rubber spatula, fold it around gently. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to reserve this. Now, I've taken liberty of making some creme fraiche, which is basically one part buttermilk to four parts heavy cream. It sits out overnight at about 100 degrees, and then it turns into a, kind of a cheese-like custard almost. Okay, we're going to use this to garnish our Napoleon. So what I have is the creme fraiche, and to that I'm going to add... And the choupic caviar comes from a fish known as the cypress trout, uh, which is uh, a big, ugly fish. Looks like a big gar. Um, and uh, it's, it's a local product. It's very good. I love this stuff. And we're going to toss that in there. Gently fold it around so as not to break up the yolks too much. I mean, break up the eggs too much. If you break the eggs up, it starts to color everything kind of a darker purple. 
So we just want to fold it in a little bit. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to remove our sweet potatoes out of the oven, which uh, are nice and brown now. Okay. We're going to carefully pick them up, drain them on the towel. We're going to do a Napoleon of four layers. And we're going to place our sweet potato down. A dab of creme fraiche secures the slice. A little bit of the crab meat on top of that. Oops. Okay, if you can use a spoon, it's best. It's supposed to touch in your food. You don't want to touch it too much. Another layer of sweet potatoes. Carefully, so as not to make a mess. Whoops. Okay, this is a little fragile. Another layer of sweet potatoes. This is where it's getting a little bit scarier. A little bit harder to do. Got to be focused. Put a little bit less crab meat on every layer. And then we'll top it off with another piece of sweet potato. Take some, uh, some a brunoise of red onions. We're going to put those down on the plate down here. It's fine dice, it's a brunoise in French. And then we're going to put some chives down here also. We're going to take our choupic creme fraiche, and we're going to put some on top of that there, all right? And then we're going to kind of put some around in the garnishes, okay? Like so. And then to that, we're going to add a few more chopped chives on top, a few more red onions on top. We're going to garnish it with some small capers, non-pareil capers. And the final garnish is going to be some boiled egg yolk and some boiled egg white. And all I'm going to do is hold my grater above it and grate the egg yolks over it right onto the plate. This you want to do at the last moment. And uh, also the egg whites. This is all you want to do at the last moment. Then you have a very festive dish, which would be called a sweet potato and blue crab Napoleon with choupic creme fraiche. Thank you.